Hello everyone, this is Professor Robert Solis. Welcome to this next video lesson. Here we're going to be talking about how to create a visual basic program that will determine the cylinder surface area and volume, volume rather, given the radius and also the height. Here are the equations for those and we click the button and it's going to display something like this in terms of a sample value. So let's go ahead and create a visual basic program. I'm going to transfer over from the toolbox a button, a label, and also a text box. And uh, for the label, let's move that to the upper left hand corner. That's supposed to say enter the radius. Okay, so I'll go over here to the properties panel. Enter the radius. We'll place a text box next to that label like this. And then I'm going to copy and paste these two, place them underneath. Now we'll have to say enter the height for the second value. So let me just select this guy over here and change that to the word height. Colon. Very good. So now that I have my labels and text boxes, let's go ahead and place a button over here underneath those two. So something like this. And the text should say calculate surface area and volume. Okay. Calculate surface area and volume looks good um, looks like I have a hyphen there so I think I did something wrong I'll just put and um, I actually I know what's happening when I put the um, when I put the ampersand like this that is the alternate keyboard shortcut so I think I have to put two ampersands if I really want to display an ampersand yeah there it is so the two ampersands displays just the one ampersand because I'm telling Visual Basic I don't want to make this an alternate keyboard shortcut. I really just want to display the ampersand. Okay, uh, label and another label over here. So I'll just take this label, copy and paste it. This guy over here is going to say what? Surface area. Okay, so surface area. And then of course I got to create a 3D label right next to that. So I'll just take this, copy and paste it. For this one, I'm going to make sure that the auto size is false, border style fix 3D, and um, let me make sure that there's no text in this thing initially. Uh, I want this to be the same height as this text box, so I will select this first, hold shift to select this label second, and I'm going to use this option over here that says make same height. All right, now that it is the same height, I can go ahead and position this thing, something like that, move this over a little bit, good. I'm going to take these two copy and paste them, move them into place, something like that. That's not supposed to say surface area, that's supposed to say volume. So let me switch back over here, change this to volume. Very good. Let me go ahead and arrange the form, or resize the form I should say. I'm going to get rid of those two, the min box and the max box. And what is the title? Cylinder, surface area, and volume. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have enough space for that. Cylinder surface area and volume yeah I don't have enough room here so let me open up the form a little bit just a little bit more right there is good so I think what I'll do is I'll just take this 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 I'm holding the shift button down and I'll resize all of these right about to there I'll unselect by clicking over here okay that looks good let me save everything and then I'm gonna give names to all the various items well over here that's going to be TXT radius. This should be TXT height. And then over here we have BTN. Uh, I'll just say calc, uh, area and volume. Even though I know it's surface area, but just so I can consolidate it a little bit. We have this label over here that's gonna say LBL surface area. And then finally LBL volume. All right, let me click Save All, double click the button so that we can get into the code area. And then I'll type uh, declarations, get user input, calculation, and then finally output. Okay, well, over here in the declarations, once again, I have to consider what are those items that are being input and output. So these two are being input, namely radius and height. So let me take care of those, dim radius as double, dim height as double, 
and then in terms of those items that are going to be output, it looks like it's surface area and volume. So dim surface area as double, and also dim volume as double. I may need some more uh, declarations, but these are the immediate ones that I can think of right now. So let's go ahead and get the data. Namely, let's get the radius. And of course, that's going to be convert dot to double, whatever's inside of the text box. Uh, in this case, we want uh, the radius. So I'll double click here, dot text, close parens. For the height, again, we're going to say convert dot to double, whatever is inside of the text box, height. So I'll double click here, dot text. All right, that takes care of getting the user input. Now let's go ahead and focus on the calculation. Now back in the picture, it looks like area, I'm sorry, volume is equal to pi r squared h. Okay, so volume is equal to pi times, uh, what is that, r squared h. Okay, so math.pow radius squared, so the 2.0, and then times the height. That's what h stands for, enter. Um, oh, I said math.pow. That's supposed to be math.pi. Okay, so that takes care of the volume. And then in terms of the surface area, what is that supposed to be? Well, let's take a look over here. Wow, this is a big formula. 2 pi r squared. Okay, so 2 times pi times r squared. So we'll use math.pow for that. So that'll be radius, comma, 2.0 for squared. And then it looks like it's plus what? Uh, 2 pi r h. Okay, so 2 times pi times radius, that's the r, and then times h, which is height. Enter. All right. That's a pretty big formula. So we have the surface area, we have the volume. Now let's go ahead and display the results here in these two labels. So we'll say lbl volume dot text. And that's going to be convert dot to string, whatever the value of volume is. Okay, so we're taking this number, converting it to a string, and displaying the results in the label. We'll do the same thing for the surface area. So LBL, there's surface area. So I'll just hit tab dot text. Once again, convert dot to string. And in this case, whatever the value of surface area is. And we're going to enter it like that. So let me click Save All. And then we'll run the program. All right, let me go back over here to the picture and see what sample value I had. So there's the picture. And uh, let me go back over here to the program. We'll have that running on top. Let's see what happens if I enter 3 for the radius and 3 for the height. So that's 113.09. That looks good. 84.82. That looks good as well. Very good. So it looks like this program works. All right, this is Professor Robert Solis. I hope this video lesson was helpful. Have a good day. See you next time.